Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I am Mitra K. And as always, um, I appreciate you for being here. I'm also here with Donovan, Throw Rocks, and hiding his hands, Sadiq. So this time, instead of me looking to the side, I'm going to be looking in front of me because yes. Donovan is now sitting in front of me. And so the opposite. purpose, the opposite. Okay. Um, and so I also want to say thank you to those who are listening on the podcast and eventually on the YouTube channel. Um, as always, the uh, purpose of this show is to promote things that um, promote and talk about the things that happen in the black community for understanding, love, knowledge, you name it, so that we can be better. Hey, Ed, what's happening? So now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, hopefully you guys have seen the topic of discussion. We are going to be talking about Trump and his uh, infamous, well, one of his infamous statements about uh, uh, the continent of Africa being a shithole, uh, El Salvador and Haiti. So we're going to get into that. Hey, Cecilia, what's happening? So anyway, um, I will go ahead and get started for the sake of time. And so... As you guys know, uh, a couple days ago, Trump made the statement, and I'll go ahead and read the statement for you. He didn't make the statement. And what he did, well, he said he didn't make it, but people, Republicans and Democrats, came out saying, yo, he said it, okay? Now, the other two uh, Republicans in the room said, we, we don't recall. We don't recall. But they didn't say he said it. All right, so he says, why do we want all these people from shithole countries coming here? Now, um, he is speaking of countries like Haiti, El Salvador, and the continent of Africa, like I just said. He also wished that more people from Norway would come over instead. All right, so basically what he's saying is, bet you by golly wow, why do all these black people need to come over here? Why can't we have nice, wholesome white people from Norway come over here instead? And so um, anybody who knows anything about Norway, which I really didn't until this kind of came out, Norway or people in Norway would not want to come over here. They deem America a shithole because they have, they got it going on for lack of better words. They have free health care. The unemployment uh, rate is very low. So there's jobs. Uh, what else? They have maternity leave. I mean, like, why would they want to come over here to suffer? <laughs> you know, so it's like, eh. Thank you, but no thank you. Hey, Tony, what's happening? And so I, I just want to give a couple of facts, especially in regards to Haiti. I didn't do a whole lot about Africa because we, most of us know what uh, countries like the United States has done to Africa and is continuing to do to Africa. But, you know, in regards to Hades. All right. I said Hades. That's, yeah, that, Hades. that's hell. Yeah. Or, or Haiti. <laughs> yeah, we're in Hades right Because right. it's hot today, believe it or not. It's almost 90 degrees here, y'all. All right, and so how, how quickly America forgets that. Haiti helped them um, in the fight uh, against the British in 1779 during the, um, what is it? Colonial the, Wars. The, yeah, the Colonial Wars, Wars, the Revolutionary War. Thank you. And my history uh, expert over there. Got a degree. Uh, right, right. Okay, <laughs> so during the, um, the Colonial Wars and the Re Revolutionary War, Haiti's, um, Haiti helped America um, basically stay America. And in regards to Napoleon, um, he had the uh, uh, possession of Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Possession of Louisiana and because... Louisiana territory. Ter territory. And so because um, Haitians were involved in the war, it made it too hard for him to continue to fight. And so he saw what was coming up ahead. He knew he would have an uphill battle. And so he says, here, I'm going to sell it to you. Hence the Louisiana Purchase. All right. And then according to Africa.com, Jean Baptiste Point du Sable. I hope I'm, I hope I said that right. I uh, it. <laughs> well, you know, being from Louisiana, French Creole. Uh, I jacked it up. My mom is uh, uh, her. My grandmother is a Baptiste. Oh, a Baptiste. So, yes, Baptiste. A Baptiste. French. Okay, I know I jacked that up. But anyway, so Jean Baptiste Point du Sable uh, was one of the first uh, permanent residents of Chicago, Illinois, and is hailed as the founder of Chicago. Now, this is a man from Haiti. Um, he also was successful in uh, trading fur, grain, and he established a uh, base in the Great Lakes region of Chicago in the late 1770s. It also says, okay, I talked about the Louisiana Purchase. Now, how did Haiti become this so-called shithole? Because you know what? A lot of people, even Donovan was like, well, 
Is he lying? Not that he's agreeing that, you know, Trump should have called people, you know, or said people from shitholes, but some people say, well, yeah, the countries are kind of bad off. They, I don't know if they're shithole, but they're bad off. Well, they're shitholes, but there's a reason why. Exactly. And so how did they get that way? Well, from Napoleon to uh, Reagan, who, when he was president, did his absolute best to help destabilize the government in order to take it over. And all the people who are meddling over there who aren't Haitian like America, they're trying to take over the banking system, and they probably have, um, the sugar industry, uh, and they've, As a matter of fact, they, they've taken over the sugar industry. Mm -hmm. the, the Clinton Foundation right. has gone in there and devastated because Haitian used to have to make their own sugar. Mm -hmm. They have to buy their sugar from Arkansas. Now. Ain't that something? In addition to meddling in their election process, which, you know, here America is talking about, oh, Russia is meddling in our election process, but the, America does it everywhere they can. And so they've helped. Haiti become this quote-unquote shithole. Well, um, let me intercede real mm -hmm. quick. Just for those people that might not know their history and stuff, do you realize that Haiti was the very first country that had slaves that rebelled oh, yeah. against the Western powers mm -hmm. uh, led by Jean-Claude uh, Baptiste, right. family member? Uh, <laughs> and uh, when they did that against the French and they defeated the French, mm -hmm. uh, the Western powers, as we call them now, made it a point to keep Haiti under its thumb because they didn't want that spark to go to Africa and colonial, you know, the colonial that was going on over right. there. And that thing that, hey, you can fight these guys and beat them and win. And they didn't want that to happen. In addition, they said that the Haitian Revolution um, inspired the yes. ones over here. Yes. And so you make an excellent point. Yes. Okay, let's keep this under wraps yes. because it, this gonna, is very we're gonna, infectious. We're going to keep it under wraps and we're going we're gonna to punish this country right. for rebelling right. against us. All right, and so who else is on here? Uh, Jesse, what's happening? And so, I, I don't know. I guess, and that whether it's a shithole is debatable, but, and, you know, as we always like to ask on this show, what are we going to do about it? Mm. What, what, what are we going to do about, are we, like, we keep giving our money, and I made a video, some of you guys have probably seen, I made a video Friday saying that we keep giving people like Trump and people who think like Trump our money. 97% of our $1.3 trillion, we keep giving them, giving it to them. But yet we want to sit up and complain that, oh, he called Africa and El Salvador and Haiti, you know, shitholes. But it's like, you're going to walk yourself into one of these people who think like him and don't think he's alone. He's not alone. I don't know if you guys have saw this video. Um, Hey, Jonelle, uh, the fact it was you, Jonelle, who posted the video of the white lady who I guess she had just got wind of Trump's comments and she was like, oh, this is great. I couldn't agree more. Oh my gosh, finally, a president who's sticking up for the rest of us and who's speaking the truth and all this other stuff. And so she's she's not alone. Trump is not alone. There's a lot of people who think like that. But how many of those people who think like that do we keep giving our money to? Like we keep crying and saying, oh, they're saying this about us. Oh, they're doing this to us. But... They would, like It's like we keep, we, we want our tormentors, the people who have put us in this position to save us. They're never going to save us. I don't understand why we don't get that. Like when I see people lamenting about it, you know, oh, Trump called a shithole. And, oh, you know, it's not fair. He called it. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. And what are we going to do about it? And do we really care? Like Trump called Africa shithole. Well, you know, uh, let, let, me, let me just interject here real quick. And I'm going to get to y'all comments did, in just a did second. Did anybody see... Martin Luther King Day, all those Negroes that were around this guy. Now, this is after he's called mm -hmm. black folks shithole places that we lived and stuff oh, like that. Oh, his nephew. Um, yeah. No, but you saw those Negroes when he was signing the thing and right. all the, the Negroes were there and they were asking him, are you a bigot? Are you a bigot? That goes to show you that no matter what happened, there's always going to be somebody that's like, oh, it's okay. Right. And then for them, to your point, uh, he's talking about when... Uh, Martin Luther King's nephew, I don't know, twice removed or something. Yeah. I don't, it's like, where did they find him from? Was everybody else not available? Everybody else says, nah, I'm good. And so here you get this Negro to stand up there and, you know, says what he's saying or all this other stuff. It's like, but, why, as, long, but, but as long as they get one. Right. But why would all those black people, they want to shake Trump's hand? What, what about the pastor? His name is Mark. Uh, I can't think of his pastor. Goatface. Mark Goatface, really. Yeah, yeah. Mark uh, somebody. He's his pastor. He was um, on Joy Reid's show, and he's arguing with her. Mm -hmm. You know, you didn't see to hear Trump say it. You weren't in the room. It's like, oh, my God. 
There's what always going to be one. How much are you getting? And so let's see what's on our Monday. What's happening? Duval. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even watch football, but I, 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 Amanda's been Duvaling it up all day since the Jacksonville Jaguars won. Mm-hmm. Hey, Finally. <laughs> And you say we need uh, to bring charges against these folks in the U with the UN. And uh, the, uh, the African the African Union uh, actually did uh, file a complaint with the UN. Okay, so but what does that mean when you file a complaint? What does that do? It doesn't. Well, it really doesn't do anything because the UN is just a propped up uh, organization mm-hmm. to the Western powers. Right. So because if you look at the Security Council, people say, "Oh, the UN." Who are the five permanent members of the, of the Security Council, which makes really all the decisions? Right. China, Russia, United States, uh, and then two. The troublemakers. Right. Yeah, the troublemakers. So <laughs> the troublemakers. They're the final decision. Ed. So what yeah. do we what do we do? Like, are they going to bring charges against themselves? But, but sure. But what if they did bring a charge and they all are in agreement? What's going to happen? Nothing. Nothing. Right. And so Janelle says, yes, she was so happy, just ill minded. Yes. And he's talking about the lady I was just mm-hmm. speaking of who was, ha, ha, ha. Oh, this is great. Oh, my gosh. Finally, somebody to speak, you know, like us who's, you know, is not afraid to, to say what's on his mind. And and you know what, you guys? Not to point at you. Uh, <laughs> but I saw, okay, so um, I saw that same video. Oh, yeah, it was, it was still you, Janelle. Um, it was actually a, um, a Mexican a Facebook page that posted it. And they said, you know, basically people of color, I'm paraphrasing, are in trouble. And so they asked their fellow Mexicans, what, what are we going to do? And so I, I made the comment on Janelle's page saying Mexicans are getting the message and they're organizing. We better not be too far behind them because this thing is coming down really fast. Whether we, I mean, like we can continue to be asleep, whine and cry about Trump is not doing this. Trump is saying this. And I mean, who's going to check him? Who's going to hold him accountable? I mean, a man has grabbed people by the stuff. I mean, he's got, they even got, he's got a, uh, some prostitute. From somewhere they paid one hundred thirty thousand dollars to be wait, quiet, wait, wait, and we what, know about it. Wait, wait, <laughs> what kind of loser do you have to be to pay a woman one hundred and thirty thousand dollars to sleep with her? Well, he didn't pay her one hundred thirty thousand dollars. They paid her. Yeah, to, 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 to quiet. But, but, but what I'm saying is, though, this man is paying for for sex. What a loser! What a loser! Well, him being a loser is not a secret to us. <laughs> oh, <my gosh. laughs> And so, what else we have here? So, uh, Jesse, you agree. And then, uh, Ed, you say, unfortunately, we keep undercutting ourselves. Let's unite. Exactly. Like, you know what, Ed? We're not going to have a choice. We, we we're like, are we going to wait till we get on the plantation? Now, like, a lot of people mm-hmm. think that's funny. It's but are we going to wait till, until we get together and say, okay, now, we here. Uh, you know, can we finally get to conjugate on Sundays? And this is <laughs> This is what we gonna do now. The revolution will not be televised. Yeah, I mean, are we gonna wait until we're? I, I, I think I might. Mm, I might be in the yard. I might be in the field. Are we gonna wait until we get segregated? Well, I, I got separated. Yeah, I have a good question for you. Um, is this gonna impede with the Super Bowl coming up or the uh, oh, the, it, it, the Final it, Four? I mean, I gotta, you know, that's important to me. Well, I gotta be able to watch that. It, it probably is. Okay, well, I, I can't. And to your that. point, though. At the end of the day, y'all, all of this stuff is a distraction. Mm-hmm. The H&M nonsense, mm-hmm. this Trump with his shithole, you know, comment and all the other stuff that comes out of his mouth. This is all a distraction to keep us, like, we ain't been right since the civil rights, I think. Since we got civil rights, not saying we didn't d- deserve civil rights, I'm not saying that. But we just haven't been unified since. We got under the false impression that, oh, gosh. We made it. We made it because we get to drink out of water fountains. I could take my money to the white store. Yeah, and spend it I over can, there. you know, rub elbows and then they'll wipe it off with white people. And then we just, we just like been struggling ever since. And now they're giving us more inferior products and, you and know, more what, debt. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? We made it. We made it. <laughs> and then Earl said, what's up, family? Cindy, where you Bing. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! I see you're gonna be out of out of uh, Facebook jail shortly. So. Uh, I'm in Facebook jail until the 19th. And Donovan's in Facebook jail because he was uh, sharing my videos everywhere, and then somehow he got shut down. But he can post on his page. He just yeah. was banned. Or you can, or you could come to my pages and you can see everything. Else. Yeah. And then so uh, Andrew says, so what do you suggest? I mean. I suggest we stop getting distracted. Yeah, it sucks that Trump is calling uh, Africa and other, you know, places shitholes, but 
at the end of the day, what are we going to do about it? We have gotten so complacent and so comfortable with everybody else saving us. Oh my God, did you hear what Trump said? He called us a shit out. Well, and then uh, we're, like we're crying to the very people who are saying this mm -hmm. stuff. Congressman Al Green of Texas, he reintroduced his impeachment papers. Al Green, I'm so proud to be alone. Uh, that guy, oh. but the, one, the one in Texas, in Houston, he's from Houston actually. Okay. Uh, he reintroduced his papers to for impeachment. Mm -hmm. Now, where is Aunt Maxine? Where is uh, all these black uh, women uh, Congresswomen, and where's the Congressional Black Hawk over 2020? <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see what I'm saying? I know the people that we even elect. Why are, they, they should have been in, uh, impeaching and pushing for impeachment and being as loud as possible from the time that this man started acting up. They are in cahoots with it. We cannot it's all about money, but we cannot win when we have people that are down with it. I agree. Uh, you preach to the choir. Hey, Secret Guardian, you say we as African Americans should join the African Union by Felicia to the UN. All right. Well, I mean, I'm not really, I'm not well versed on any of that, but I take your word for it. Yeah, we should, but unfortunately, you have to be African to join the African Union, and they don't consider us African. Did you hear that? Oh, we got to be like from the motherland as yeah. of recently, not uh, 500 years ago. Right. Right. <laughs> But, but I, I agree with them in, in yeah. terms of we should have our own organization. Well, why don't we just do that here? Why don't we form our own organization here? Because, you know, me and Donna talk about this a lot. Black people, we are so divided, with whether it's religion, it's this group, that group, Republican, Democrat. We're, like, so divided. Why don't we just all come together? Or is that utopia? That's a utopia. Oh. And I want you to remember this. 40% of all your active duty military troops have to stay in the United States at all times. Okay. A lot of people say, well, that's bullshit, whatever the deal is. I'm telling you, it's true. Mm -hmm. Because 60% of all our troops that have been fighting these wars have been what? Guard and reserve. Mm -hmm. So we're the, we're the active duty people that are fighting these wars. Oh, right? the draft is coming. Don't worry. But, 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 here, but here's my point. If we have this new command that's called the African Command, mm -hmm. it's all the military is a part of it, right? And that one soldier got killed up in yeah. uh, Niger and stuff like that. If we start doing the atrocities that we do, in Iraq and Afghanistan and all these other places, and we start doing that in Africa, you've got 14 million people of African descent behind the lines, plus, what, a good 30% of us in the military. Right. Ain't gonna happen. They don't want us to rise up, and they're gonna keep, they're gonna do everything they can to keep us from organizing. Right. Well, I, we gotta do something. And then Earl, I'm saying Earl, but I know you're somebody else. The problem is, D, so many of us said it is not our concern. A huge distraction. Well, you know, and to your point, I can't tell you how many people I've seen or have said to me, you know what, you're going to die of a heart attack, not wishing bad on me, or you're going to have a stroke, or you're going to go gray talking, uh, you know, about the things we we're talking about because overall, you know, like, they're basically their attitude is, let's save yourself. I'm saving myself. I'm worried about myself. I'm not concerned with what's going on with all the other black people. And I'm like, you guys are so foolish. Because at the end of the day, if this all comes down, which I believe it will, and we should be ready, they're not going to say, well, you were that black person over there minding your business. You were that black person. Oh, you didn't get involved. They're not you were in the military, that. so you're trained. They're going to say, your ass is blue, black. Get in the field. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you kind of look like you could be in the yard. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's honestly, that's what's coming up. That's what's going to happen. And so, uh, hey, Al says, I'm here. We're here too. And we're here for you. Is that Al? Yes, Al. Okay, uh, prepare the joke of the day. Okay. And Cecilia, you said, I think the black and brown should unite because it will not be getting better. Unite and make a difference this year and 2020 politically. Amen. Um, yeah, and that's always kind of been the mission with black and brown people. Somehow, I, and I know how it got that way. Black and brown people, you stop getting along. We know where that came from. I mean, who would have the most to lose if black and brown people uh, got, together? got together? So we know who who uh, caused that division. But you're absolutely right. Will it happen? We'll see. But if it never happens, black people need to say, okay. Instead of us waiting on everybody else to come on board with us and this, that and the other, we need to be organizing. See, your garden says, we need to exist, I mean, exit the support of the NFL, uh, NBA, for a while. Um, good luck. I don't, 
<laughs> there's always going to be that group of people that I, are going to say, I'll take less money. I'll, you know. Right. They, yeah, some people. I'll do it. It's, and those are the people I was just speaking about. Well, that's not my concern. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to worry about myself. I got, you know, things to do. I got, you know, fish to fry. Well, you know, well, you know but I, I like what he's saying for the simple fact that if you take your LeBron James, that they would make a stand. It would make a difference. Well, they're starting to, but not. They're, but they're making tweets. Yeah, but they're, yeah. They're, but, but they're not t- like a Ali. Take a stand and be willing to lose those or, millions. Or Kaepernick. Yeah, or okay, Kaepernick. Okay. <laughs> and, w- and be willing to lose those millions right. and walk out because LeBron is the best of the best. Right, but he ain't gonna do that. Maybe I mean he might. But as I'm saying, he, he, he should. Might. He yeah. should. But until he does it, mm-hmm. nobody else is gonna follow suit. And then Ernie says, "17th of uh, the 17th will be out of jail. Well, we'll be easily awaiting that. <laughs> right. Everybody's Just, in jail. Yeah, I know, right? I, you know, knock on some wood. Yeah. I ain't been to jail yet. And so Jesse says, we don't even need a revolution. We need to sit this one out because basically they're in, they're mm. in fighting. That's what's going on right now. Pay attention. The news very closely and you'll see exactly, let's see. What's going on? Well, unfortunately, I don't have the news. I don't watch the news, but I, I definitely agree with you. We are being we're being Saturated. pulled away from mm-hmm. something mm-hmm. by all these little, you know, things. Because they know we get upset easily about. Mm-hmm. Oh, he looked at the black lady wrong, and then you know <laughs> we take, go away with the hashtag for like two or three days, and then it's like so. What what, what else is new? Right? Did you see what happened on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? Yeah, 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 all of that. You know. And then uh, Al says, I know your sheet don't stink. <laughs> You'd be surprised. No, I'm just playing. Uh, Earl says, not going to happen, Donovan. And I, I talked yeah, so long. No. I didn't want to go, yeah, no, no I, I, absolutely. Yeah. No, it's about LeBron walking. Oh, okay, like right. That, yeah. And then so uh, Tolly says, we're going to keep living, saving money, starting our own and speaking out. Um, and never, I think he said, um, and never look for, or oh, and never look for more to save me. I, I don't do church. Um, we got to save ourselves at the end of the day. We have to save ourselves. Nobody else is going to do it. We have gotten fooled by the, the uh, socialisms for so long. Somebody else is going to do it for me. Somebody else mm-hmm. is going to give it to me. And so... And people don't realize capitalism is brutal. It's like we're, we're going to stomp you out until you don't exist. Right. It's the survival of the fittest. Yeah, um... I, I really wish, I, I hope a lot of the people that are listening actually saw your video that you put out Friday. That was a very I think a lot video. of people on here did, yeah. did, did see it. Uh-huh. And then so, uh, Jesse, he said, we are descendants of Africans. That's who we are. And um, or we are just a little lost tribe in this wilderness called America. Yeah, I mean, eventually we need to get the tribe together. Because I agree with you. Get the tribe together. And say, okay, this is where we are, and this is what we need to do. Otherwise, yeah, like I, I, to me, like a year ago, I thought it was a joke. Oh, hardy, hard, hard. We're gonna be on the plantation if we don't. I mean, it's like you guys. Well, like three weeks ago, they rounded up a hundred over a hundred people over a less than an ounce weed. of weed mm-hmm. and booked them all. Booked them all. Then just take a like a. How, well, how massive of an effort is that to take over a hundred people to jail? Can you imagine what that neighborhood um, looked like? If that was a bunch of white kids, you should you would see the uproar. Oh, listen, that wasn't even. Oh, you guys just, just don't yeah, do it again. Don't do it again. Okay, it's like a, a good movie to see that on higher learning. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember, go to the party. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys, it's making it gonna be nice. Right. And see your garden. You say. Uh, pay them no attention. Stop allowing Trump and company to set our talking agenda in our, our community. I have, absolutely, but we're just not there yet. We get it. We get excited and upset over every. Yeah, he called them a shit. That's a country of shitholes. Like, okay, next, let's get back to what we were doing. Yeah, and did you notice that he took off the El Salvador shithole comment? That, oh yeah, that was removed. Uh, of course, because it, it offends the Hispanics. Right. But he left the black people because well, we right. ain't going to do nothing. And we right now we don't have no real power. Right. You know. Exactly. And then so Earl, you say, stop it, Donovan. We don't have the votes. Wasted breath. Wait to the midterm elections. Well, well that remains to be seen. Okay, well, um, I'm, I'm going to say this, and I'm not disagreeing with you mm-hmm. about the votes. The Bush tax cuts were made permanent under a democratically controlled Congress yep. and a Democratic president. True. So it doesn't matter if we have the votes or not because we are not in control. Right. All right, it says, totally, it says, yes, we don't come together for nothing. If you say my shirt is black and it's true, somebody will disagree with you. Uh, yes, it's, 
Man, it's a little off gray, dark gray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. it's all, you're it's absolutely right. That one person. Hey, Carlos, what's happening? Long time no see. He says, Demetra, do some homework on the military. Well, you know what? I got the best military expert sitting right across from me. His name is Donovan Sadiq. Um, and so if you ask me a question specifically about it, I guarantee you we can answer it. <laughs> Not me, but he. Yes, yes. <laughs> And Donovan's done uh, 24 years in the Air I was Force. Born, I was born in the military. He was born in the military, but he has his personal career of 24 years in the military as an Air Force pilot. Mm -hmm. So he has a lot of uh, knowledge about the military. Jonelle says, we expect compassion from our oppressors and seek some sense of comfort from our oppressors. As Malcolm X said, we don't have to seek separation. We are already separated. Mm. We just must awaken from, oops, let's see. Must awaken from the illness. Uh, it's funny because uh, when I was doing this uh, the other day, I was making my daughter listen to it, and she says, "You keep losing your place." Because uh, I kept saying, "I lost my place." Uh, we just uh, we just must awaken from the illusion of inclusion with whites and do for self and self for own mm -hmm. our own and be ourselves. As the honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches, there is no salvation in a white nation whose destination is damn and void. Those blacks like, uh, who could continue to hold on to the Zionist America will share in Zionist American doom. Mm. Well, I, I totally agree with that. And it's sad because they really think, oh, those are you guys' problems. I don't have any problems, you know. Um, there was a fella on, uh, I won't say whose post it was, but it was one of their friends. <laughs> and this dude was just like so delusional. You know, he was had this whole, just pick yourself up by the bootstraps mentality. And you know we're yeah, they, we were and this is a blind dude. Yeah, and, and don't don't worry about the money that you know your ancestors weren't paid and the riches that yeah. were in there. Don't worry about that. You got to do it yourself. Yeah, because you know he says that we weren't really slaves, which is true. We weren't really slaves. He says if anybody deserves it, it's our ancestors. And I was like, you know what? I tapped out. I'm done. I I, I can't continue to talk to people who are so so dead. so basically he's saying that if my grandfather uh, worked hard and left me this money, I shouldn't take it. You that mean, I'm entitled you to. You mean like the white people who are getting uh, the the benefits from slavery? Right. right? Well, no, they, the people like that never address that kind of stuff. They, those people are bent on making sure that their people stay down. They think there's a benefit in keeping black people down, even mm -hmm. though they're black. Oh, you know, well, you guys weren't slaves. We weren't slaves. We just need to pick ourselves up by the bootstraps. No, uh, I, I agree with that because you know me, I, I'm always into the you know, do for self. That's why I'm always saying get off the welfare and stuff like that. But at the same time, I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying be stupid. Get everything that you're entitled to. Well, get everything you're entitled to, but also realize that these bootstraps that we're supposed to be pulling right. up, somebody always has their foot on the bootstrap. Right. And if they take their foot off the bootstrap for five seconds right. and we try to do something with it, mm -hmm. then they're going to put their foot back on the bootstrap. So just to say black people need to pull themselves up by the bootstrap, that is so ill-informed. It right. just is. And then I, I want to address something somebody said about us getting together. I'm all for it. And exactly. We know it's not going to happen, but uh, I used to date a girl uh, from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you got these people coming to this country from wherever shitholes they come from. Right. And we're, we're, you know, we're black Americans. They won't even integrate with us. Yeah, they're like, you to, guys. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So I, I hear that the, yeah. the person, you know, who's saying, you know, get together, I'm for them. And we won't work with our, our, ourselves. So if, and that's if, why they won't work with us. I mean, right. and they got this little uh, holier than now yeah. attitude as well, but they see the stuff that we go through. Right. Absolutely. So absolutely, absolutely. And so Al, guys, says black and brown, black beans and brown rice on your Chipotle burrito. No, <laughs> just black beans for me. Al says, well, praying and marching won't even work. Yeah, we, once we Not get nowadays. that memo, yeah. well, then we'll be better off. And Jesse says, we need to come out of uh, among these devils. That's what needs to happen. Malcolm X said it best. As long as we're in their system, spending their money, things will remain the same. Mm -hmm. Especially spending our money with them. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Earl says, or C, says, I agree, Donovan. He also says, I have a headache. These new black folks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I call them, yeah. special blacks. Yeah. Special, I, they're not to me. Right. I, you know, I'm not like that. I'm just going to go off and then <laughs> concern myself with myself. And the minute your wig gets snatched off right. in the Korean shop, then you're going to be wanting all these other or black people. Out. Yeah, mm -hmm. you want all these other black people to come to you. That's old. And you don't want to go viral. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're going back over there. And then uh, Tony says, we can uh, network starting with this group. I'm in Dallas. Start a delivery service. I okay. like it. Right on. And find some goods. Uh, and you know, it's um, I'm, I'm, I'm around young people a lot. When I say young people, 
my nieces and nephews, I call them kids, but they're in their mid-20s. And my daughter, they're in their mid-20s. And they are, and, and most of them. They're damn kids. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most of them, if not all of them, have some degree. I have a nephew who has six degrees. Six degrees. Following, uh, a, following after his, his uncle Donald. <laughs> You know, along with, you know, my daughter, my other uh, nephews and stuff, they, are, they, they have degrees. Mm -hmm. And they realize, like, there's no jobs out there. So I'm telling them. Make your own. Make your own money. Make your mm -hmm. own business. You guys are young. You guys have the ingenuity. You have the energy. Go with it. Now, for those and you guys, they are. Yeah, for those of you guys that, that don't live in California, a lot of these young people are getting into the cannabis getting industry. Getting into the weed business. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, hey. Why not? I mean, I wouldn't use drugs. I don't but, use drugs either, but hey. Yeah. And then so Billy says, hello, hello there. All right. Greg, what's happening? He says, hey, the talk lady. I like that. <laughs> the talk lady. <laughs> Billy says, uh, what are we talking about at this point? I'm like, we're talking about, um, we're not necessarily talking shit about Trump, 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 Trump calling us a sh uh, uh, Africa shithole. We're talking about really, all right, what are we going to do about it? And you know, is he's not alone in calling or feeling that way about black people. At some point, we're going to have to stop the divisiveness and come together because we are going to be divided on the plantation mm -hmm. by color, you know. And, wow. I mean, just to like the thought of it. You know, I, would, I wouldn't make it probably a week on the plantation. No, no. See, you, <laughs> see, you, and, you and Afro Thunder come from good stock, so we're going to make you guys breeders. You ain't going to make me no breeder because hey, the factory is shut down. Y'all might as well just let me go. That's all right. No, no. We, we, we can get in our practice. You might as well just hit shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And Al says, if it's not uh, Timberland boots, black people aren't pulling up any bootstrap. Now, see, mm -hmm. you ain't right. Uh, but he's kind of correct. But, you know, I, I would like to say this, too. It's not all dismal. No. It, there are, for black yeah, people. There's a lot of us doing and, Yeah, there's, I mean, there's a lot of us who are, you know, coming along and trying to make it happen. You know, eventually we'll get there in our lifetime, hopefully. Nope. Gloria, what's happening? He says, love your hair, D. Well, thank you. <laughs> right, Gloria used to do my hair. Oh, really? Back in the day. Wait, this is Gloria the Singer, right? Yes, The Voice. The Voice. Her name is the yes, voice. The Voice. Maybe she can make us a theme song or something. She needs to. Let, 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 uh, write, write it down. Donovan. Yeah, the name of the new show is called Disputed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Secret Guard says, I submit Donovan is at the top of his game. I started as a fan of D, but now I understand <laughs> the partnership. See? Yes, yes, thank you. You guys thank should you. watch our other show. Yes. Where we're a little bit more looser. We don't go live or anything like that, but we're just, you know. We're just speaking, you know, what's on our mind. We're doing, got to do. And I will say this about Donovan. He is very knowledgeable. Very knowledgeable. He is in this community the go to for knowledge, like about just about anything, especially in regards to the city. But no, he's there. I mean, He's not that the 11 degrees he has. Like, he literally World has like 11 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, he just, you figure a person with 11 degrees, they can stop learning anytime they want. Like, okay, no more. I'm done. But he continues to learn. And so, I actually learn a lot from Donovan. So, go. I agree with you. And then, so, uh, let's see. And Greg says, talk, D, talk. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Earl says, it all starts with wealth. Build your own wealth as a community. Yes. And we know we got the money. We got $1.3 trillion, but we're just like, here you go. Mm -hmm. Oh, you want some too? Here. Are you going to choke me in a couple of weeks? Sure. But he <laughs> yes, we did a show on that. Yeah, Absolutely. here you go. You know, and Loria says, um, D always uh, thought this way, y'all. I've known her for a long time. Love it, D. Yeah, I've known Loria for, woo, it's been a long time. No, I'm going to have to disagree with that statement. <laughs> I've known Dee when she was jumping fences to get to her boyfriend over at Ramona. So. That was in high school, but I was still starting Black Student Union, right, too. That's so. true, that's true. <laughs> Billy says, let's just hope that if Mueller, how do you say Mueller? Mueller. Uh, mm -hmm. Can't get him out, then we will in 2020. Yeah, I mean, what's taking him so long, though? Well, the thing is, it's going to take time. You know, because this is, this is not about uh, uh, Russia. That's a di diversion. This mm -hmm. is about money laundering. Remember, I'm the first one to say oh, yeah. that. This is about mm -hmm. money laundering. Trump, think about this, everybody. There was no bank. This guy went through a bankruptcy of a casino. Right. He could not get any United States banks to loan him money to, to build golf courses. Right. So where is he getting his money? His his daddy left him the money? No, no. He, Melania was rich? No, no, no none of that. <laughs> 
through, du- through Deutsche, Deutsche Bank in uh-huh. Germany, through the oligarchs in Russia, that's where he's getting his money. And that's why he won't show us his taxes. That's why he doesn't want Mueller. Mueller already has them. Right. But that's what this is about. It's about money laundering and treason. So in your opinion, is Mueller going to get him out of there? No, because... Remember, a special prosecutor is uh, put up by the Congress. Mm-hmm. It's up to the Congress to impeach and the president. Like With a Republican Congress, it's not going to happen right. unless it is something so egregious. Now, getting, excuse my language, everybody, getting your dick sucked brought in an impeachment against President like he Clinton. He was literally impeached. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, being a racist, a bigot, maybe possibly money laundering, a obstruction of and justice, and all, that. all of these things. And there's still no chance of him being impeached. Yeah, he's just like cruising along like, so, where are we golfing today? <laughs> right. So, I mean, I want everybody to think about that. And if you're not alarmed, if a guy could be impeached for getting some executive privilege. <laughs> Is that what they call well, it? Well, <laughs> it's been going on for years. Right. But maybe Monica Lewinsky could lead the Me Too. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, anybody should be leading. Yes, should be her, it should be right. Her, right. So, so Jodell says, there's no po- uh, politics that can save Zionist America from its final destination. If we don't see God hands, cur- God's hand cursing mm-hmm. this nation, the scriptures alive in full bloom, Absolutely. that we will uh, will pray. If you reap... Oops. Diana, I lost my place. My daughter is sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you reap what you sow uh, and justice don't sleep, what future do does... Uh, the white nation has separation is best because there is no true equal with the slave in the slave master. Whites desire dominance in their same ways of evil, which is false dominance, a pretense for self-destruction, which um, whites are mentally engulfed in. And we got to get out of a sense of inferiority. That's true. True. And more uh, whoop ass <laughs> or else because we have truly nothing to lose. So slavery for oh, who? Oh, Lord. Right. Thailand has entered the building. Oh, uh, Donovan's wild cat <laughs> that he lost for or was stolen. Right? He was catnapped and he found him. Um, it has entered the building. So if you see a cat jump up here, yeah, you see or me tear up stuff. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I, I absolutely agree with you, Jonah. We got to get out of the we mind do. frame that we are less than. We do, really. Like I, 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 I don't believe I'm less than at all. Um, and until we start getting some respect for this black woman. We're not going anywhere. And speaking of which, and Ben, I'm going to get to your point in just a second. I don't know if you guys saw that video of um, the black woman who was uh, brutally assaulted by the pizzeria owner. Uh, it's, the video was trending the last couple of days, oh. and they finally arrested him. But this dude, now check, y'all check this out. To Donovan's point about respecting the black, respecting and protecting the black woman. This man shoved her down to the ground was banging her head into the ceiling. <laughs> and do you know who filmed this whole thing? Who was that? Take a guess. A brother. And do you know what this brother <laughs> oh, oh, wait, said? Wait, wait. Security. <laughs> <laughs> She's about to get out. <laughs> do you know what this brother was saying? What did he say? I just want my pizza. I'm just trying to get my pizza. This lady is That's getting sad. Not only did the owner jump on her, but it was like five of the employees came to help throw this woman out after he did all of that to her. But look at all these videos on World Star on the internet where you see, you hear the guys are just, they're just filming these fights. World Star. This but this fool said, I'm just trying to get my pizza. Damn. Hey, Ben, you say, why is everybody surprised at the cheese doodle and cheese <laughs> remarks? He's saying out loud what a lot of white people think, but won't say. Absolutely. Uh, we just I talked about the video. The, the white lady was, oh, it's great. <laughs> She thought it was great. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is a white woman saying mm-hmm. that. Imagine, you know, how many white men are just... Right. Have you? Uh, if, if those of you who haven't been to Europe, there's a lot of shitholes in Europe. Trust me. <sighs> yes, there's a lot. Why? <laughs> so it says, To the hard way is a good name. <laughs> to the hard way. Lori says, hey, D. Write that down. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Here you yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> it says... Hey, uh, Lori says, hey, D, I need to write a song for your show. You know I can't laugh out loud. Remember that song that you and me did, your mom wrote, laugh out loud. Where can I hide it? <laughs> Lord, oh, my mom was writing that kind of music. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. My mom wrote a song. R.I.P. 
she wrote a song and um we were singing and my mom was mad. She's like, you guys need to do something with it. It could be get a Grammy and all this other stuff. And like 15 years later, you should see my oh daughter's my face over here. Oh my God, where can I hide it? <laughs> that's the name of it. Mm, mm, mm. And Elsa's President Oprah wouldn't like this. See, now you're trying to start uh -oh. talking. That's going to be our next co uh, topic in just a second. How much we got uh, time we got on this project? Okay. okay. And so um Earl says, damn, jumping fences. Yeah, okay. That was <laughs> He lying, okay? I walked out the door. I was a G like that, okay? I'll be back. I'm going to go see my boot thing, thing at the other high school, okay? Uh, <laughs> Billy says, what's your boy name? Tell him thank you. Uh, it's Donovan. You talking about Donovan or are you talking about somebody else? Because the only boy I got uh, is my homie Donovan and my man Al. That's all. <laughs> Don't be trying to get me in trouble on here. <laughs> And Artema says, thank you for providing a voice for the voiceless. We have the money. We need a plan. <laughs> yes. That's the whole key. That's the, the plan. A plan. A plan that we can all get on board. Okay, now, this is, don't judge me, y'all. But I know for a fact, myself, Donovan, and Al, we have this new person we've been listening to. Pastor Thaddeus Matthews. <laughs> yes. Yes, Pastor Thaddeus. Pastor Thaddeus Matthews. You guys have probably seen him, but he's also known as the cursing pastor, the cussing pastor. This dude tells it like it is, but, you know, he says the same thing. He always, you know, he says this, and a lot of people say that, but black leadership has, and I don't even talk about like two, has failed us because we have no plan. If somebody wants to get a plan together, it's like, I don't like that. Well, why you got to have the most to say? Or why you get to do that? It's like, can we just get the thing rolling? Um, I want everybody to remember, and uh, Dee, uh, why don't you tell them Thaddeus' latest quote about the killer? I ain't doing it. I'm not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> but it's true. It's true. true. Billy says Russia has, um, Russia has, I think he said him mm. in his in, in, in the pockets. Mm. Or he has, Russia has, he has. He's uh, Russian he's oligarchs. In, yeah. Okay. He's, I, he's I, in the pockets. I'm yeah. jacking it up, but I get your point. Yeah. Yeah, Russia's all up in the mix. Mm. and uh, They keep coming up. They keep coming up. Yeah, if Trump is, he, they don't have to like drag him down to the ground before and, he admits anything. And, and, and this guy, they said, lies 5.9 times a day. That's a god thing. To the American people. We don't know what he does behind closed doors, but to the American people. And, and people, I love it. This is so great to have a man who's speaking his mind and he's speaking for the rest of us. It's all so awesome. So if he's speaking for the rest of y'all, what does it say about the rest of y'all? Mm -hmm. that's, that's too simple to even follow. And then, Earl, you say uh, casinos, Atlanta City is broke. And they've been going broke for a while, yeah, right? Yeah, and Trump's casino was one of the first ones. Over, he, the guy lost over a billion dollars. Fake billion news. Dollars. Now, 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 think about this. If he, you got to be pretty dumb to bankrupt a, a casino. Statistically, 33%, right. 33 cents of every dollar goes to the casino. And we know, like, two handfuls of people who go right. into the casino. <laughs> right. So, uh, you know, my, my mom is a casino, you know, Guru, I know, you know a few people who are, and, yeah. and and so uh, you know just use your common sense, people. If the banks in America will not loan this man money, where is he getting the money right. to build no, these I, golf I, courses? I, I, follow, 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 follow the money. Follow, yeah, follow. That's, it's that's common simple. sense. It's that simple. Gloria says, "I know it's your show, D, but why don't you show Donovan? Um, all we hear is his voice." Well. We are working on that. We are getting uh the, the problem is with live is um unless you have like a computer, which we you know in the process yes. of getting, mm -hmm. you can only do it on your phone. And so unless Donovan sits on my lap <laughs> and, and or I sit on his and then And you know, I wouldn't like that. Yeah, and I wouldn't <laughs> like that. You can't you you can't see him. See, because it's it's really literally my phone is 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 as wide as you see me, like I mean I'm wide, but <laughs> And, and you then, can't already see me, so. Right, and then at the same time, we're doing a podcast. And we're doing a podcast. Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> right. uh, and people on YouTube as well. So there's right. a lot going on. But the good news is when Donovan's done producing the video for YouTube, you will see him too. Yeah. So, yeah. and his Spider-Man <clears throat> shirt. Yes, Spider-Man shirt. Yeah. And so um, Earl, he says, well, Donovan, I know New York City and New Jersey is preparing for his impeachment. And yeah. it won't get to impeachment. He will, uh, you say, and it won't get to impeachment. He will leave. So he's saying that. Yeah. He's just going to say, okay, I've, I've got enough money, Russia, right. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm leaving. Ben That's says, awesome. executive privilege. I'm going to start calling it that. Hey, girl, you want to give me some of that executive privilege? Laugh out loud. Only Donovan. Okay? Hey, hey, tune into my show if you want to hear some um, some good sayings. Right. Tune into the show. And then Billy says, are we bringing uh, a God in this? Um, ain't no God. 
Thor would just hit this motherfucker <laughs> with, uh, uh, what is that, a meal? Uh, Don, if you might know what Yeah, the mallet. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't even know where to go with that. But Donovan's saying, yeah, so. Yeah, I mean, that, that's what it's going to take. I mean, I mean, uh, we got to wake up as a people because nobody's going to save us. No, Nobody's going to fall out the sky? <clears throat> Nobody. Nobody? <clears throat> Okay. Earl says, also, Donovan, you are right. Money laundering and treason. Absolutely. You also say, and guess who videoed it? <laughs> who? <laughs> and Al says, pizza, nobody, uh, pizza, nobody's pizza of the hut. <laughs> what? Uh, and he, uh, Earl, you also say, I can't with these new black folks. Yeah, I mean, they just, you ain't talking to me. I'm right? mm-hmm. like, everything's going great. And my suburban neighborhood, white people love me. And I just, mm-hmm. you know, we all get along and we have tea and carpets and the kids play mm-hmm. soccer. And then they, eh, 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 when they go in their house, mm-hmm. that nigga got on my nerves all day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Loria says, oh, I miss her, Dia. Um, Loria, actually, I met Loria through my mother. Um, and Loria and my mother were thick as thieves. And so I miss her too, Loria. But I'm, I'm sure she's somewhere up there. She's, you know, probably eating her favorite things, some chicken and <laughs> listening to some Bobby Womack and, you know, so I, I miss her too. And Billy says, and my daughter's looking at me because it, it's weird. Sometimes we'll just be driving in the car and I'll just start crying. She's like, you're a punk. <laughs> <laughs> and Billy says, yeah, uh, yeah, Donovan. Janelle says, but that's my point. Uh, they do what's allowed and they don't have fear of, um, we um handling them like Africa did H and M. Oh my God, yeah, H yeah, and M. So if they got handled for whooping that sister, they'd be slow to do it or wouldn't do it um at all, pending the damage they receive in return. Mm-hmm. I mean, but it's like I I, I just <coughs> when I saw the video, I, I obviously I was mad at the the um the the pizzeria owner for doing what he's doing to this lady, but I was more infuriated by the fact that. You know, if black dude is taping it or filming it, recording it, as Al would say, recording it, and I just want it, I, shut up, B. But anyway, he was, because I was about to say something going to get me in trouble. I just want my pizza. I, I just, I wear my pizza. I just want my pizza. And then as he's filming, you see a black lady getting out the way like, shoot, I ain't trying to be in the middle of that. They should have took some, uh, some Parmesan cheese containers and just, I mean, pummeled these dudes and just, t- exactly. I mean, exactly. Hey, but, you know, and, you know, and I think that also goes back to the fact that um, we lost a generation of young men that were raised by women. Mm-hmm. And, and, and no, no, and that's not a bad thing. But <laughs> what I'm saying is it's like we're saying about this Oprah thing mm-hmm. and, and everything like that. It, you know, what can we hold the black woman to be accountable for? So if I can't even open your door or treat you like a woman because you want to be independent of me and you brought into the now movement and all that other stuff, how do you expect me to stop this fight? Donovan's throwing rocks right now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Billy says, money laundering. And Earl says, side eye. Uh, John, Jonelle says, that is, is giving it to the straight. <laughs> exactly. I'm there like, people go. talk about they want a pastor to, you know, to tell them the truth. That's what he's doing, okay? Is it a little salty? Yeah, mm-hmm. but the man is keeping it real. He's like, he's telling people what they want to hear. And it's, I, I don't get it, but it, it looks like he's getting a... A large following. Right, so. and update, update. Shira Wright has waived her extradition, and she will be going back to Memphis. Oh, she is she going. Is and going you was back. looking for a trial out here. No, no, no. There wasn't going to be a trial here, but oh. she was just delaying it. But okay. she is going back to Memphis probably within the next week or Shira so. Shira Wright being the lady who allegedly the, killed the, the ex-husband yes. or the ex-wife of the Lorenzen Wrights. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you also say, Jonelle, uh, what do it say about their white way of thinking and their nature? Devils. Ooh. <laughs> Can't get right. And Earl says, Donovan and D, he owned 15 casinos in Atlantic City. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, and, and how many do we have now? He doesn't own any. You know, he went, they, they pulled his licenses and everything. The guy was failed. He was a 15? failed. 15 of them. Damn. Failed. And Al says, my mom said, don't say anything about the casino or second home. <laughs> That's it. See? Look, look, if it wasn't for people like Al's mom, my mom, a bunch of my friends' moms, <laughs> Uh, there would have been a lot of casino uh, family members and kids that did not have a Christmas this year. Really? They hit the jackpot? <laughs> no, just if it wasn't for them going there, they wouldn't get a paycheck. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, you're talking about the, the workers. The workers, there. yeah. I just can't do the casino. It's like, it, to me, I have five minutes and I'm done. Mm-hmm. Um, and Lori says, but I'm not complaining. It's a good show anyway. Oh, no, I know he wasn't complaining because when we first started doing it this way, a lot of people were like, well, who is the guy I'm talking? We can't hear him. And so, I, you know, I have to explain it. So, it's not a big deal. 
But thank you. And Al says, Al will like it if you... Uh, <laughs> Billy says, uh, yes, thank you, Donovan. My nigga. There it That's is. He said. There it is. His word, not mine. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> I saw you, Al. Uh, Billy says, <laughs> Dilly motherfucking Dilly. Yes. What you... Billy... What you drinking? No, no, Dilly is a, you see that commercial? What? Dilly, Dilly? It's a Dilly Lily commercial like for beer. I listen, I don't have television, oh, that's right. so, so yeah. I, Dilly, but Dilly. See, he was talking about some beer, see? Yeah. That's in like, yes, 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 he's oh. with it, he's with it. Okay, another, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, it's Billy, Allen, Donovan, y'all the television watchers, I forgot. <laughs> uh, Al says, your mom is up there and my stepdad is down there, wow. <laughs> Damn, he in hell, he's smiling up, he's looking <laughs> Or he's, he's looking up at everybody. It is. Now, Ben says, these new niggas softer than wet bread and the powers uh, that be know it. They know black people ain't going to really do nothing but protest, be outraged for two weeks and forget about it. You know what? You've given it longer than that. Too long. Mm -hmm. I, I say three days. Um, r r real quick news for those that might not know. Um, identity, identity extremists were arrested and they are arresting them <clears throat> as they go. I mean, we're so. going to the clink. Uh, could be. I mean, we, they already got me in Facebook jail, so, I mean, for, for spreading your video. Listen, I didn't tell him to do it, Popo. -po. He did it. I didn't. <laughs> well, then how come you sent me the video then? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but no, uh, and you're absolutely right, Ben, and, and that's what I thought, too. Like, think about being this pizzeria owner. Mm -hmm. You're going to snatch this woman up, bang her head into the floor several times without even thinking somebody going to come cold cock you. Like, you feel free to do this to her. Now, if that had been a white woman, an Asian woman, Mexican oh, woman. Becky? Oh, my God. We got to defend Becky. He wouldn't have did it. He would buy shit. Y'all crazy. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Becky, I owe you another pizza that you yes. didn't pay for? Okay. Here you go. Not saying that's why he did it, but she could have got away with all kind of pizzeria murder up in there. But we're talking about this Oprah thing. So tell us your, your point on this Oprah. All right. I mean, uh, so we're going to talk about Oprah, but I'm going to get the rest of y'all comments in this. So. Uh, uh, Ernie says, I could not sit down. I could not sit and video us being beat. But you know, a lot of us can. Yeah. And, and Jonah mm -hmm. said, it shows we have been raised with a fear factor. Oh, absolutely. Rise up if you want to. Mm -hmm. Sit up and tape it and put it on Facebook and then talk about your right. pizza. Earl says, one of us. Yep. And Al says, I just want my Winco chicken. <laughs> Donovan actually yes, has some yeah, on, has the some on the stove right now. Uh, Billy says, Donovan, I see I need to talk to you from now on. <laughs> <laughs> Right, because it's, all y'all TV stuff is like, shoot, right over my head. Hey, just go to News from Edgemont on YouTube. All our stuff is archived there. Yes, so. and then Tolly says, I don't understand all the hate for Oprah. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. This we isn't get hate. to it. We no, get, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to get to it, it. and it's going to be interesting. because I'm scared. Yeah, don't, don't be scared, but uh, it's not a hate for Oprah. It's about common sense and what you need to do. I mean, if you love Oprah, you love Oprah. I love Oprah. However... You get a free car. Okay, I'm just playing. Tony, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> don't, don't, no, no, I don't want a free, uh, a free, a free car if I can't pay the taxes for it. Okay, we're gonna get to there it. Go. We're gonna get, but totally give us a minute. We're gonna get go to ahead. it. I promise you. And so, Billy, uh, I know he said, I don't understand all the hate for Oprah. This woman has come from nothing, fat and all. See, now that was a little shady. Oh, no, I'm just playing. Fat. <laughs> no, no, that, that's thick. That's thick. That's thick. That's a whole other show. That's whole other show. Whole other uh, and then he says, ain't no one perfect, especially a billionaire. Well, she does. Stop. Because uh, he finna say she ain't <laughs> worth a billion dollars. No, no, no. I, I was saying, uh, you know, Trump's supposed to be a billionaire. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll get to that. We're going to get into that. Yeah, okay. Because I got some stuff for you. I know you do. And Billy says, um, he says, when are they going to arrest the Ruski hackers? Uh, I believe Mueller is working on that, but you can't arrest somebody that isn't a citizen of the United States. There you have it. And Al says, the only dilly I like is the dilly from, a dilly from Dairy Queen. Yeah, I used to have one of those back in the day when I was a vegan. Absolutely. Now. Dairy Queen got a lot of mom money. Uh, <laughs> Billy, do you want to come over here? Absolutely. And my daughter said, absolutely not. Uh, Billy says, and that's a racial slur that the White House finds offensive, but the Reagan... Uh, Reagan said it first. See, see that that's what I like about your listeners. They they are just so knowledgeable and mature about their opinions and stuff like that. Right. That's how a show's supposed to run. You know, it's, so it's not supposed to be arguing back and forth, name calling and stuff. Well, and that's supposed to be doing that, and then like, you know, we get the calls that come in there and just be dogging us out on our other shows. Oh y'all, man, y'all <laughs> the other the other show we do, the podcast people, yeah. man, they be having us heated. Yeah. Alex, you are never late. You are always on time. <laughs> and Al says if the lady 
would have gone to Walmart and brought a DiGiorno pizza, she would have had, <laughs> wouldn't have had any trouble. Wow. Oh, Make sure to take the advice next time. And Earl says, did anyone read the dossier? Uh, the yes, do I've read part of the dossier. Do yes. Donovan's read part of it. Um, I'd rather read War and Peace. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, I don't see any more comments about that. Oprah 2020. All yeah, right. yeah. Let's say it is 2020 <clears throat> right now. Or, okay, 2019 or so. Oprah <clears throat> has put her paperwork in. She is now um, running for president. Okay? Let's say she's even gotten, beat everybody out of the Democratic Party. She's now the Democratic nominee. nominee. Are you voting for her? Why or why not? Give me your best shot. Like, I, I'll give you, and, and while you guys are talking about it, let's see. I see some more comments. Ooh. Uh, Earl says, um, you get a free, a, a few car, everyone, or a free car, everyone gets a free car and a subscription to Dr. Oz's website. <laughs> Did anyone read, oh, yes, I, I missed that. He said about the dossier. Mm. And uh, Billy, uh, you say, uh, real Republicans hate Russia. And he right. says, uh, real Americans. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're supposed to be an American before you're Republican or Democrat. Right. Okay. okay. And so. There, there's been a lot since Oprah did the speech, her speech at the um, the Golden Globes. People were like, "Oh my gosh, she was so phenomenal and all such stuff." You know, she mentioned um, the uh, black lady back in the day, and she just passed away, who was raped by six white men. And I know Donna was going to have a whole lot to say about this. <laughs> we already did a show on this. So yeah, she, um, she, and he, she, she uh, paid homage to her. She was raped by six white men. Um, and, uh, did they get away with it? I think she said. Yeah, they did. They got away with it. Yeah. They left her for dead and all this mm -hmm. other stuff. And so, tied up on the side of the road. Tied up, right? Oh, and so she talked about the Me Too movement mm -hmm. and you know, times up for men and all this other stuff. Indicted and so, all men. Uh, indicted all men. <laughs> and so from that point, everybody's <clears> like, "Oh wow," you know, because people were talking about Oprah being a running for president before that, mm -hmm. but then that just kind of reignited it. Oprah for president. You know, I would vote for her, blah, blah, blah. And so <laughs> you see all of this conversation you've seen in her and lots of pundits talk about Oprah um, being a good candidate for president <laughs> or not being a good president uh, candidate for president. And so I want to know if you guys are going to vote for her. Why or why not? <clears throat> and Donovan, then you go first. Are you voting for Oprah? Why or why not? Absolutely not. Number one, uh, after this reality TV star fiasco, can't do it. What rat reality? Oh, you're talking about as far as Trump. As far as Trump. Okay. It goes to show you're inexperienced, whatever. People say Ronald Reagan was an actor. Mm -hmm. Very true. But he was a governor before he became president. Mm -hmm. So he got the experience. Number three, Oprah is not a billionaire. So uh, her finances are in the question. Number four, she did not do nothing for black people and hasn't done any uh, philanthropic uh, stuff in the United States. She did it in Africa. Which, don't get me wrong, she, she, she gives away cars and does a lot of stuff like that. Gives away cars. Um, but when I'm talking about, like, <clears throat> uh, politically, to show any kind of political leadership, uh, she opened a school in Africa. Good to her. Of course, there, people were molested in that school. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. But those are the facts. Um, she was for the Iraq War. So right there, it tells me you, you don't know what you're doing because anybody could see that the Iraq War was bullshit. Um, she supported Hillary Clinton. Now, this is my final thing, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with me about what I've just said. Here's the bottom line. <clears throat> if a white woman who was the most qualified female ever to run, and she ran twice and got busted out twice and lost to the most unexperienced person you could ever put up resume-wise, Trump versus Hillary, she was a first lady. She was a senator. She was a uh, secretary of state. Married to one of them. Married most, to a president. Right. A corrupted president, but whatever. She had the experience. Lost to a tel television reality star and failed businessman. You think, and then Obama gets in there after six years or eight years of being obstructed and what he knew and the hate that was generated against him, you expect a black woman to be elected president. Really? Y'all heard it. <laughs> <Y 'all... laughs> and so while you guys are still forming your answer, I'll give you guys my answer uh, in, in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot, but no, think about it, that. It was think about that. Okay, but I'm going to read to you what people say. Uh, Earl says, I'm voting for Gail. <laughs> <laughs> Billy says, 
says if Catfish from social media runs, they have my vote. There twice. you go. Uh, I don't even know who the hell Catfish, catfish is. Catfish is when those people are faking by who they are. Oh, I, I mean, I know that. Okay, yeah. oh, that, okay. Uh, and then Earl says, Donovan, was Ronald Reagan, was the president, or was it Nancy? <laughs> Good point. Uh, I think it was uh, Herbert Walker Bush uh, was running the show because we know that he helped in the Kennedy assassination and all that other stuff. So I think Reagan was there as a puppet, but it's actually Bush and the... Um, Skull and Bones people right. that were actually running the uh, uh, country during that time. And then Robert, hey, what's happening? He says <clears throat> he disagrees. Okay. Okay. So why do you disagree, Robert? Are we listening? Why Why do you disagree? Now, would I hope a comment? I don't see any more comments. I, hope a comment <laughs> I think comes, I blew it out. I hope a comment comes <laughs> up before I have to answer. I blew it out, I think. So... <laughs> Would I vote for another <laughs> coochie? <laughs> okay, would I vote for for Oprah? I, oh, I, I I know what I before I answer. Okay, I would um, like to challenge you on something you said about Oprah. You okay. said that uh, as far as uh, her philanthropic right adventures or our adventures go in America, mm -hmm. that she hasn't done anything for black people. Well, that's not true. Okay. Oprah uh, has donated a copious amount of money to uh, black university, the HSBCUs, or however you say it. Um, a, a, a lot of money to Morehouse. She has given a, a lot of scholarships to African Americans to go to college. Um, Did she do that because she wanted to, or, or is it because the, her ta her tax bracket, she would have to get rid of that money? Anyway? Well, I mean, I, it probably has a lot to okay. do with taxes, but I'm just, yeah, I, I agree. Whether it was taxes okay. or she woke up and felt, you know, generous. Okay. She did those things in um, her angel foundation mm -hmm. or network or whatever it's sure. called. They did a lot of things for black people. Um, so, yeah, they, they, okay. they've actually done. She because I do hear people saying that Oprah has never done anything for black people. My argument. Oh, yes. Comments. My <laughs> argument is that what is she going to do if she is president? For Nothing. Black people. Nothing. All right. And so Earl says, I'm voting for the junior senator of my birth state. Who is that? <laughs> okay. New Jersey. Who is that? Okay, the junior senator. That would be Cory Booker. Cory Booker. You know, I'm kind of... And Cory Booker is, no, he is a uh, a corporate a senator. He's he's backed by corporate. Corey, he has he no just, chance. He, he just, I think, I mean, he's done some things, but I think kind of, he just, he's there. And he, and he, yeah. and he was against the... Uh, um, he went along with the repeal of some of the old, the pharmaceutical thing. Oh, really? Yeah, he went along, okay. along with that. He didn't, like, he wasn't good. Right. He was like, no, because he gets his money from the pharmaceutical. Oh, yeah, he ain't going to go against right. the, you know. So I think he's kind of. That's but, why I said it's just kind of, there's not, not a whole lot of bad <laughs> stuff, not, which is good, but yeah, no. not a whole lot of, I mean, he sp uh, spoke out about Trump and some other things, but I mean. Yeah, I don't see him bringing any articles. You're a no, senator. No shade to Cory Booker. Yeah, no, no shade, but you're you're a senator. You're you right. can do that. And so Tony says, I never heard her. I never heard her say nothing about no war. She got black people working right now on her television station. All her movies are geared toward black people. Don't you get started? And there. we talked about that. Uh, she on never show. did nothing. Is a lie. She is um, respected in the white community. No, and I agree to say that she's never done anything for black people. I think that, that not not think, but that is disingenuous. Oprah has been very genuous, genuous, generous, generous, generous. Mm -hmm. um, with black people. So okay. I, I agree with you on that. Now I like to push back a little bit on her uh, movies being geared toward black people. I agree with you <laughs> that they are geared toward black people. Killing and buffooning. Yeah, but look at the, uh, the content. That she has, she's producing for black people. I mean, it's kind of like, Oprah, with all the money and influence you have, I mean, I'm not, I, I, I watch some, you know, foolery and TV. Well, we talked about this on our previous show. Uh, when, when Oprah first launched the own network, right. it was failing. And you can go ahead it and was, the time. No, It was, it was. So he was saying that it was failing. Uh, as you guys know, she was having some trouble keeping it afloat. Uh, because she was catering to white people. She had the nice little, you know, white shows on there that would draw Suze in white Orman. people. Susie Orman. Susie Orman and all those people. But it started to tank. But then um, when she started, when she brought Tyler Perry on, which I do believe Tyler Perry did help her say sure. own. Absolutely. But when she brought Tyler Perry on, what did he bring with him? Spike Lee have said, and have not. Spike Lee called it malt liquor for black people. And they got into a big old thing about it, but he called it malt liquor for black people because the content is garbage. It really, I mean, it really is. If you guys um, used to watch Ayala Fix My Life, when she first started out, she had everybody on there, white, Korean, mm -hmm. Mexican, black, 
everybody, but then they found out it was sexy or sexier to have black people who, uh, a gay pastor who has 29 kids and, and slept with all the dudes in the church and he's married. You know, and a dude who had 36 kids and they stretched yeah. that whole thing out for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. You know, it's like, and, you know, and we talked about this on a previous show, but remember when Fox Network first started? Mm-hmm. What what shows did they have on the Fox Fox Network? Yeah, Martin, Martin Living uh, Color, Living Color uh-huh. The Simpsons. Uh, the, the key is you got to get that black audience. The UPN when they started. But the why WB. they got to get the black audience? Because we're the biggest consumers. And what else? We watch the most. We watch the most television, right? And Hands so, down. so you look at the WB when they started their network. Where they get the Wayans Brothers, all this coonery, uh, Malcolm and Eddie, all this you know stuff that all these black shows, right? Now, how many black shows are on, on network TV now? Well, they have blackish, and I'm gonna get you guys' mm-hmm. comments, not right. to belabor the point, but they have blackish. Now, my daughter's been watching blackish. I don't watch television, but she was watching it. She said, "Well, watch blackish with me." So I tried to watch it because everybody was saying. It's this positive show. Mm. It's a good show. Have you ever seen it? No. Um, there's this positive show. And so as I'm watching it, the <clears> grandma, <throat> which is Jennifer Lewis, she is straight up con. I mean, this lady is a con artist. I thought. I mean, you name it. <laughs> the grandma is all of them like, Deanna, what you got me watching? Reality TV. But it's it's, it's, it's like, <laughs> I guess it's the, two, the, the modern day Huxtable, but grandma is, she wild it. She's lying. Reality TV. She's lying on the kids. Reality TV. She's stealing money. Oh, reality <laughs> TV. <laughs> what about reality TV? Don't you understand? You almost got me. You almost <laughs> yeah. got me. Uh, but yeah, go back to the Oprah thing. Why you don't uh, agree? Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm going to get into it. And so, and so Earl says, actually, Donovan, uh, she is worth a billion selling her majority stake. in oh, I saw the other day she was worth like uh, $2.9 billion. Wrong. But go ahead. I'm just telling you what I saw. Mm-hmm. And Al says, for the record, black people, <laughs> Dossier is, is not a black girl's name. <laughs> and Earl says, nope. And he says, I was born in New York Center, Gillibrand. Gillibrand. Oh, Gillibrand. Okay. Gillibrand. Uh, she, she's Christian in New York. Gillibrand. Yeah, yeah she, she, she's in New York. Oh, so you say if she runs for president, you will vote for her? Why? And they, uh, Earl says, Corey did not win his city for Senate. Yeah, okay. yeah he was appointed. Okay, yeah. so uh, why would you vote for her? And are you saying you will vote for her over Oprah? And Janelle says, "How long to uh, how long to, do you think European Zionist America will be in effect? Will there be uh, um, a four six time is upon this nation and for all you say a forty six yeah. a president mm-hmm. time is uh, uh, upon this nation and all they will put a blind parrot <laughs> in that Zionist seat. It doesn't matter, Harpo." Um, is is a no, horrible. Mm-hmm. That, that that's more illusion, more black uh, slave, sure. slavery or slave, <laughs> yeah, slavery, etc. Like Trump is a white slaver for the Zionists. Right, absolutely. He gets it. He understands that's mm-hmm. no matter who they put in there. Obama, if you disagree, if you disagree with me, he was a corporate. He was picked by the Wall Street bankers. Oh, yeah. How many Wall Street bankers went to jail? None, zero. Right. If, uh, and I'm just saying, you know, if you like Oprah, I, I don't. I'm not against Oprah, like right. I said, and I'm not against Obama. I'm not going to bash the man, right. but I know what, why he was there. Oprah, in my opinion, has no chance of winning, being that if a white woman couldn't get in there, right? A, a, a well loved white right, woman, right? Right? How, how much can a black woman get in? Well, I mean, <clears throat> that's even if she wants. But to run. again, prove me wrong. I hope she does win. I mean, you know what I mean? I'm not. Yeah, and Billy says I never understood why a president has to do so much for one category. A president. Um, is for everyone. True. That is in theory. In, right. The president is <laughs> supposed to be for everyone. The president of the United States and everybody who lives here. Mm-hmm. However, I think we need to get it out of our minds that we, can, if a, a black president goes to the uh, to the White House, that he doesn't have to do anything for us. Because what is Trump doing? Trump is doing stuff for rich white folks. Mm-hmm. All the presidents have done it. Mm-hmm. Why can't uh, somebody black get in the office and say, well, yes, I'm the president of everybody, but my black folks is going to get this, that. I'm going to specifically do this for that. I'm going to start the conversation about reparations or whatever the case is. Why can't, Why do we got to be apologetic about that? I'm the president of everybody. Right. And everybody's got to realize the president cannot make laws. He can introduce things, right. but he cannot make laws. So, I mean, yeah, but do something for your people. That, that's how it's supposed to be done. 
You don't get somewhere and don't help your folks. Right. You're supposed to help your folks. Right. Everything that Trump has been doing, other than this big tax cut that was passed, right. was by executive order. And what, what was the executive order? He's reversing what Obama did exactly. by the pin because Obama exactly. was obstructed for six years. Exactly. So that's how it works. I mean, this idea of the John Wayne United States all-inclusive, that's not true. This country, again, John Taylor will back me up, was never built for anybody but the white Asian no, the white Anglo-Saxon right. Protestant, and right. that's how it's going to be. Absolutely. The president is a figurehead, and he works for the major corporations and the people with the big money. He is their mouthpiece. Well, don't have to tell that to people in Alabama, and he's just like me. Right. You could have a beer <laughs> with him, but he wouldn't have a beer with you. Right. And then so Tolly says, um, have, yeah. you, uh, have you seen who's in office? Bush was in politics all of his life, and look what he did. Yeah, but... Though, and I agree with you. Which Bush? Those people who are in office did something for their peeps. Right. Yeah, they helped their that. people, whether it was rich, white people, whoever. They made sure their people got theirs before they left. Right. And, so, and they took your kids to war. Exactly. Not man. One of their kids went to war. Mm-hmm. Well, Sarah Palin did, but you're leaving. Yeah, but not that he was. Yeah. In, she was. He, he wasn't. He, yeah, he wasn't in, in thing. And uh, this thing about uh, Oprah. Um, what's that? The young lady said. She said. Uh, Oprah didn't, um, I, I lost my train of thought, but, um, well, you find it and I'll get yeah, to these comments. Okay. okay. And so, uh, Earl says, well, correction, if your state Senator, Miss Harris runs, I'm voting for her. Uh, no, not, I'm, a, I'm with no, Donovan on not that. enough experience. And she didn't do enough shit here in California. The only reason Kamala Harris got into that seat is because of feminism, period. Barbara Boxer retired, and they placed it with another female. She has no uh, congressional record of anything being done. And I mean, what is? She, I, I, I know this is going to sound like a broken record, but I, I, as a black person, I want to know what my, what my vote is going to get me right. specifically as a black person. And I, I could be wrong, but I haven't heard uh, Kamala Harris say, speak specifically to black issues that weren't already trending. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but I, I don't think so. You know, you got to also think of it. When you're running a campaign against something, the Republicans want you to put up these women and these feminists because they know they can beat them. Right. In the end. Right. Because one thing about Republican white women, they don't believe in equal pay for equal work. Well, they don't talk a good game. Yeah. But when I'll it comes down to her, it, right. I'm with her, and then they get yeah. in that booth exactly. like shit. I was lying. Exactly. exactly. Um, Al says... Uh, Cory Booker, wasn't that the name of the old school William Shatner TV show, <laughs> T.J. Booker? No, T.J. Hooker. T.J. Hooker. Hooker. <laughs> Why? That's Earl your says, name. Earl says, Spike Lee has no business talking. Girl number six, mm. she hate me. <laughs> hey, uh, real quick, I'll leave break in a breaking news, breaking news. Omarosa. Omar- How do you say that? Omarosa. Omarosa. It sounds like a, like a, like a rotisserie chicken. No, no. <laughs> it sounds like a rotisserie chicken. Uh, but anyway, Omarosa had a sexual relationship with Donald Trump. Former Atlanta housewife star claims. That's where we get our news. <laughs> okay. That's what Donovan would be on. I thought you were going to say she turned up dead no, or something. Because no, you know no. she was writing the book. Yeah. So. Um, I didn't like Girl 6. Uh, she hates The soundtrack me. was kicking them. Yes. That was all Prince. Yes, all Prince. Uh, but the, the, she hate me. I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't get into it. Mm-hmm. I, I, but I like Spike Lee. Don't you say nothing bad about Spike Lee? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and you, Earl says, I love Blackish. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then you say, it has its moments, though. Yeah, like the, the hustling grandma. That's just like, wow. Um, Al says, Blackish is right. Black bullshit. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, t- uh, totally says, point blank, I will vote for her if she was a viable candidate. You got your opinion? Cool. The rating for uh, Congress is a shithole. You sound like America was great again. I, I mean, I, listen, I'll be the last person to tell you America was great. I mean, it was great for certain people. It wasn't great for black <laughs> people, though. I mean, it all depends on who you ask. And listen, uh, let me get to y'all comments before I give my uh, my commentary. Break Girl in, says, break in. Saints 14, Vikings 17. Saints 14, Vikings 17, 10 minutes to go in the fourth quarter. That's why you walk the body here to <laughs> yeah, go check I the score. Check, I think I check the <laughs> <laughs> Um... And uh, Earl says, Oprah backwards Harpo. Yeah, mm-hmm. Harpo's production, and Harpo was our man in the color purple. 
Yeah, but I mean, you, can, you know, we, we, you know, we need people that have experience because at the rate that we're going, and she's going to get in there, and she's just going to do an agenda that is basically what they tell her to do, just like Obama got in I there, like and, then, and then they obstruct. Like I said, right. and the Democrats go right along with it. And if you don't believe me, like I said, I'm not an Obama basher, but the Democrats went right along with the obstruction. Oh, I agree. You know, Absolutely. so that goes to show you. Right. A black person gets well, in there. Well, the Democrats up there, they rich too. Right. They ain't going to say no to more money. Right. I mean, right. And I'm not saying personally, uh, Obama was a very upstanding guy, and I have a friend that is on the Secret Service detail. So some of the stuff that, that I know that was right. going on behind the scenes, they did this brother really wrong, but he knew what his mission was when he got there. Right. Because the country got, and you guys remember this. Remember Occupy Wall Street and everybody, that the economy was in free fall and stuff? They met in a hotel in Baltimore, and they said, Hillary, we're going with this guy right. because we want to uh, keep these people from overthrowing the government. Right. And we first thing we ever had, we never had a black, black anything, a black president. This guy gets in there, and we were just looking. Right, in awe. In awe. Right. We're like, okay, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? We waited eight years, and there's not I know, not I'm getting my do. chicken. Right. So that's what and, it's and about. And I became a vegan and everything still waiting on my exactly. chicken. Exactly. And, you know, and so if Oprah gets in there, I'm not wishing her bad, but... If a white qualified woman... Will you vote get, for her? No. Even if there was somebody, let's say, against Trump? Uh, no. I, anybody you vote for Trump? Anybody would, would, would vote. Oh, she's running against Trump? Yeah. And she's the nominee for the yeah. Democratic Party? I'm not saying that you're Democrat, because I know you're not. I, hopefully that there's a third candidate. But it, if? I, I would vote for a third candidate. or, or do If a there's no third candidate? I would write in somebody. So you would just waste the vote? Yeah, because in, in the long run, everybody... Voting for the president does not, your vote doesn't matter anyway. So. Vote locally. Yeah. Okay, so Janelle says, rich tax cuts and Zion is getting paid. Absolutely, uh, that's what it's about. Billy says, yes, Donovan, you are right. And you also say, Trump doesn't drink beer. <laughs> <laughs> does he drink Kool-Aid? And then uh, Billy said, I'll vote for her fine ass. Are you talking about Kamala? And then he said, I know I'm wrong. Well, I mean, you know, whatever gets your vote, you yeah. know. Yeah. You never know. We might get some but, workers up in there. Yeah, but like, again, Hillary won with over 6 million uh, popular votes. Remember She's when not uh, California had a porn star running for governor? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Oh, Donnell says, what can a slave truly do in a Zionist own White House, especially scared and lacking in self-love? That's every slave in politics, mayors, senators, judges, etc. Only a few can get drops. We need our own on all levels, separate and independent or else, I mean. Uh, preach it, brother. But like I said, every time there's a situation, who, who do they drag out? Old ass John Lewis. And you know, when I march with pain. I mean, nobody wants to hear that shit. John Lewis. I, I can't stand any of these handkerchief heads running around here uh, talking about, uh, you know, we just be patient. We don't have time to be patient anymore. Right. It's, yeah, we got to move we, past the you know exactly. civil rights movement. Right. We, we I, gotta, I totally agree. And then so uh, Alice says, black people uh, here in Houston only for the NBA All Star Game starters. <laughs> that's what that's what they care about. That's what I told you. It's not going to interfere with my. <laughs> right. And it, uh, Errol says, Donovan, we boycott the NFL. So don't be running in here with no more scores. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, y'all are boycotting the NFL. I didn't say he I was said, boycotting. He said, I'm one of those black people that has nothing to do. No, with no. Me. Actually, the Cowboys <laughs> are out of it, so I stopped. You're right. <laughs> and then uh, I, oh you said I, I didn't I missed your earlier comment I was I, oh we missing all his comments about the dossier uh, I, I I didn't I didn't you said something about the black girl mm -hmm. the dossier I, I got it yeah I I just think politically we need experienced people that are going to deal with you know telling me how bad my life is and you know these ideas that isn't how government works right oh uh, uh, he's a businessman he'd be a great president. Business and government work two different things. True. I can't print my own money in, in a business. Right. It operates totally different. Right. And this is why we're having the chaos that we're having. So putting another reality TV star or a TV producer type person that doesn't have a background in government is going to be chaotic. Right. And Antonio totally says, like all of them. And Al, Al he says, black BS is what black ish stands for. <laughs> and the producer and creator knew and knows it. Um, I know I, I mean... Because a lot of people will disagree with you. Uh, some people will say it's like, uh, I guess, a modern day, maybe Cosby show or something. Mm -hmm. It's a little off. Would you say that, Deanna? Yeah. You... My, my daughter watches. Well, she says well no. how, how, how would you categorize it? It's like a... Speak up. It's okay. like... It's like a modern millennial, like excuse for being white black people. Ah, okay. Did y'all hear that? She says black is just like a modern millennial excuse for being white black people. 
Mm. Like, that's pretty much what the whole show is about, like, his family's, like, this bougie uppity. He's trying... That's originally what it was like. He was trying to, like, get them back to their black roots because they were too white. Ah, okay. So, he, she's saying that originally the premise of the show was to get the family. They were bougie. And he, I guess the father, uh, Anthony Anderson's mm. character, is trying to get them back to their black roots. Mm. Uh, well, ain't the hustling grandmama his mama <laughs> on the show? Yeah, but... Wait a minute. How many? How many of us young brothers that have our moms that are, like, you know, that are our women, and they they got their weave looking good, they got tattoos on their arms and stuff like that? Isn't that the norm now? Isn't it? I don't know. How many tattoos you got? I got three. <laughs> okay. I got three tattoos, but you would never yeah, see them yeah, unless okay. I show them to you. Ah, mm-hmm. we gotta talk. <laughs> so. I mean, I got some hair that don't. I mean, it belongs to me because I bought it. And I got it's the Afrocentric. Percentage. It's Afrocentric. Yeah, but I, I got some hair too now. I ain't bald headed. Not, I mean, and that's the, I think the misconception that people think women with wings are bald headed. I mean, no, they have a lot of hair. Which of hair. I don't it's, understand why are you still it, listen. I, I'm gonna give y'all a little, just a little, some more comments. Coming a little class on cosmetology. I used to have a cosmetology license. Mm. As a black woman, that you know, when you're wearing your hair natural. It is hard to upkeep. I mean, I'm keeping it real with I, you. I, I agree. My daughter doesn't comb her hair. Either. She wears braids and dreads mm-hmm. and all kind of stuff, too. Um, but when I do wear my hair, you know. I, well, don't worry about it because now we got our sons not even combing their hair. They look like oh. they just, just came out of their damn <laughs> uh, gutter, you know, just woke up and just said, okay, here But I natural am. hair is not hard to maintain. But, I mean, if you keep at it, you will, it will fall out. So, sure. you got to. This is what we call a protective style. Sure. sure. And make sure we maintain our own a hair. hair hat. A hair hat. Wow. No, I'm just wow. So. Okay, and then so uh, Billy says yes, and hey Ronald, what's happening? He says all of them make promises and they uh, ne- are never filled. No, yes, that's the politics you get. Right. It. Absolutely, give me your vote. I'm gonna, I wanna. And on three election time, uh, I didn't get you last time, but hit me this time. What I got you. Was, right. you know, this is what happened, but this time for real, and, and I got you. Fall in line. We so got a show on that. Right. Check it out. Mm-hmm. Check it out. And Earl says, so who would you, who would you vote for? Y'all want to know, huh? Tony says, don't knock down a possible candidate without having one to put up there. Don, uh, Donovan, chaos started 400 years ago. And Earl said, oh, uh, I disagree with Al about blackish. Anthony Anderson created it after his real son, uh, and it says, real son said he wanted a bar mitzvah. And it's hard when you move from the hood. Uh, you, go, you go back to, uh, to a black college and don't, uh, Recognize your child or his friends. And that's pretty much, yeah. So I agree. You, uh, my it's daughter's saying Anthony. the same thing, huh? It's not Anthony Anderson. It's, a, it's another guy who wrote it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, okay, so and she's it's saying, like based off his family. Yeah, like family. Rainbow's, his actual, his actual wife's name is Doc. She's a doctor. Her name is Rainbow. Like, it's, I forget his name. It's like Kenya something, Kenya Ellis or something. Oh, okay, so somebody named Kenya Ellis, but you guys are somebody pretty like much that. on the same page and why the mm-hmm. show was created. Uh, and Al says, when black people find out Tracy Ellis Ross is a lesbian, the show will lose big ratings and eventually get canceled. But she has a nice butt. She has a nice butt. But um, Is she? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I don't know if she's a lesbian or not, but if she is, cool. I mean, I, I, yeah. I said it like I was like, yeah. I, um, I would never. Right. But uh, back to the person talking about Oprah being a candidate. Well, number one, she's not a candidate right now. Right. And so, she hasn't even said she's so I, I'm not disagreeing with you, whoever mm-hmm. made that comment. Uh you know, totally. let's agree to disagree, mm-hmm. whatever the deal is, but she is not a candidate, so we're just talking what if. Right. And he also said, Totally, vote for me, I'll set you free. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? You promise? Why not? You're not just gonna take my vote and run, are you? All right, so am I voting for Oprah? It's yeah, who 2020. Are you voting for? I gotta go into the election uh, or the booth or whatever. Am I voting for Oprah? I would say this. I'm like you. I don't have a... I like Oprah. Mm-hmm. You know, for the most part, I like Oprah. I, I just, for me, even if it was Kermit the Frog, I want to know what they're going to do for black people. And Dr. Claude Anderson talks about this. And he says, we need to stop giving candidates, especially black candidates, our votes, and just because they're black, for one, and thinking that they're just going to go do something for us because they're black. He says we need to contractually hold them responsible. Right. Okay, we're asking for this, that, mm-hmm. this, and that. And if you don't mind, before we as black people collectively give you our vote, we want you to sign here saying mm-hmm. that you will at least go and give a valiant effort into making it happen. Mm-hmm. Don't just give us lip service and then get there and say, I said that. Mm-hmm. Like, do something for us. Specifically. Not Specifically. DACA. Not Mexicans. Right. Not- us. Right. You know, 
and and no shade to Oprah. Like I said, I like Oprah. Um, I like a lot of the things she does. I like Oprah's story most yes. more than anything. Yes. I very love, successful I love woman. Is she a billionaire? I don't think so, but very right. Successful. But I mean, it's just who 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 is she really going to be working for? Who who's really gonna? I mean, we know ultimately she doesn't control things, but I, for once, I just want to be able to vote for somebody because we know that black people we are pretty much the decision maker when it comes to people getting elected. I yes, mean, Doug we are the Jones, deciding vote. We are the deciding Doug, vote. Doug Jones got his ass in there because of black women and we're black men. men. I don't know why they overshadow black men. We are the deciding vote. But black black people got him in, mm -hmm. and we do that. We get hell. Ninety eight percent of us voted for Obama. God knows how many black people voted for Hillary. Mm -hmm. And so... And she still blamed us for losing. Okay. And so, we, but we get these people in and then we get left at, standing at the door. Oh, we don't even mm -hmm. get invited in. Mm -hmm. We just get stepped at the door. And four years later, it's like, well, okay, listen, I need to do this again, y'all. Right. And think about this. When Obama uh, got elected, mm -hmm. the, the two times he got elected, great job, thanks to the black vote. Look at his staff. Predominantly... Women. Clinton people. Well, These were predominantly Clinton people. Right. Well, I, I don't know. I just, to me, I, I I would vote for her if we had something solid and right. her saying... Contract because, with America. Right, because in, in, in no shape, Oprah. Oprah does do things for black people, but you know, the game changes. But perception is everything, so... Uh, yeah, but the game, but game yeah. changes when you get to a higher office. You feel compelled. And another thing, we as black people... Got to stop being apologetic about wanting stuff done for us. Stop the bullshit about mm -hmm. pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah we, ultimately we should be saving our own selves. But if I'm going to give you my vote. Which is valuable. Which is very valuable. I know you're going to get in there and help everybody else. Obama helped gay people. Yes, no shade he did. The gay people. Yes, he did. He helped uh, Hispanics. He helped women. Who else did he help? Uh, the transgender. All of them. He helped everybody, everybody but. But black people. He didn't say, all right, you know, there's so much money. There's money there to give black people reparations. How they've given it to people who weren't even from here. The Japanese, I think they got $20,000 a piece. Yes, Japanese descendants. Right. Not even the people that were interned. It was their descendants. $20,000 a piece yes. they got. Okay. It's not much, but it's something. It's something. Here, I'm sorry, damn it, here. Mm -hmm. You know, they could do those things, but we, we just need to stop. Give us free education. Something. For 20 years. Right. Give us uh, 40 acres and a mule. Here's some land. Mm -hmm. Bye. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever the right. case is, but we, we, we're the only race of people who... We love to get shitted on. Yeah, we're apologetic about wanting what's ours. We, mm -hmm. I mean, well, you didn't really do it. It was your ancestors. And then they'll take a few of us and make us successful, Steve Cooning Harvey, and say, look, they'll look, you know. Exactly. Oh, he can do it. Yeah, can look, do look, it. Bill Cosby, look, look at all these athletes. Michael Jordan, he's so great. Oh, these people, these but are athletes. Look, these people are selling their souls, too. Yes. They're selling yes. their souls, and they are giving up who they are. They're denouncing their very blackness for green, right. for and then, dollars. And then you got guys, a, a gifted guy like Ben Carson. Sells his soul. Yeah, this was like the most notable black dude the in modern day most history. Most successful brain surgeon and in he just the United it up. States. And, and even with this latest thing about Trump calling and saying a shit he's, he's standing right there behind right there. me. Smiling. Martin Luther King's nephew. Mm -hmm. um, and then so, let's see. Uh, I missed some comments. Uh, Billy says, she's not, but Raven is. <laughs> Tracy Ellis is not. Yeah, and I just, my daughter was watching, I said, and I saw... <laughs> Raymond Simone on the show. I said, what is that? She's got this bird of paradise hairdo. She's just big old butch. You know, she's just, I, I don't even Doesn't know. Doesn't everybody. Politically correct uh, to call somebody butch. She's, she's a lesbian. And she's got this, you know, she's a Lyft driver. And she's just. <laughs> wow. wow. I was like, damn, if you don't turn this mess off. Uh. And then Al says her lover was on Wendy last week. Who? Who's a lover? See, Al be dropping seeds. Yeah, there it is. Who, who's a lover? And, and Earl wants to know the same thing. <laughs> and and uh, Al says, you like Oprah, me too. Now, you can't just say stuff like that and not drop the names. And Tony mm -hmm. says, we had a black attorney general. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. We did. Eric and, and And the white folks ate his ass up. <laughs> 
because of the hate. I'm not saying right. he they, was a bad guy. What they was just, that thing they said? Uh, uh, the Fast and the Furious, Fast and, the Furious. and all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, they just didn't want that Negro up in there, and, and they got rid of him. And you know, and one thing I will say about Eric Holder is the brother did try to do things for black yes, people. He did. he did try to do that, but like and you said, they ate his man. ass up for what four and a half, five years. Yep. He was like, and then they and then they bring in the sister, ate her ass up because yep. she got on a plane to Susan Rice to protect right. Hillary. Right. No, no, I'm talking about the sister that came in after Attorney uh, Holder. Was it Susan Rice? Oh, she was the uh, ambassador or something. Yeah, that was Susan yeah. Rice, but uh, the, the Attorney General after Holder was oh, a black yeah, woman, yeah, yeah. and they ate her ass up. They don't want no black people telling yeah. them what to do, mm-hmm. especially enforcing the law. What? You got to be kidding. She. And then uh, Floyd, what's happening? He says, "Do you think we as a community know what we want?" No. No. I tell you what we do want. Um, we want stuff. <laughs> We do. We want stuff. We want the stuff like, you know, the, the handouts and this. And I'm not saying we should, like Donna would say, you take it if it's there, but be like doing something. No, no, with not, it. not take it when it's because it's there. Take it because it's what you uh, deserve and what is in, you're entitled to. But it, it's not a lifestyle. So when yes. I say stuff, of course we know. And of course, it's not uh, black people are not predominantly getting socialism, right. but a lot of us are. Mm-hmm. And lifestyle. so. We want stuff. But the problem is we can get the stuff for ourselves just like every Group other community. Economics. You think about the Asians when they come over, you don't think they're getting food stamps? Hell yes, they are. They're, 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 getting, getting, they're getting low percentage loans, all kinds of stuff. But when they get their food stamps, what are they, what's in their baskets? Rice, a staple. And what they doing with that? That we making some cereal, yep. we having some Beans rice. and rice. Oh, and mm-hmm. we're going to be ricing it up and we're going to save this money. And then the Mexicans, when they get the food stamps, they go buy beans and rice, but you know what else they do? When you out, um, you know, in your yard, watering the grass, you hear, da, 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 mm-hmm. and it's the Elote woman who's running around selling, selling corn mm-hmm. and whatever, and some chips and stuff out of the trunk of her car with the food stamps that she got. So she's not going home and stocking her cabinets with uh, top ramen and stuff. She's like, okay, listen, we better eat some beans and rice and burritos and stuff, and then I'm gonna take the rest of this and flip it mm-hmm. so we can, you know, own our own grocery store later on. Mm. Speaking of which, I ain't heard the Lordy's lady in the neighborhood lately. <laughs> Maybe she got her grocery store, but that lady was hustling. Mm-hmm. I kid you not. And guess what? Everybody was just shoot, ran out the house to get that corn out of the trunk of her car. Bougie white people and everything. Mm-hmm. Making that money. Yep. No, no, what happened to our black hustlers and our black uh, guy that that new that new carpentry auto mechanics? Uh, you can go to them for anything. Hustle man. Where, where's hustle man? Hustle man is like she. <laughs> not today. Uh, and then Tony says, I don't praise Oprah either, but him just being there was inspiring to black men. Absolutely. Black women. Oh, you, Absolutely. Listen, anybody who say Obama wasn't inspiring, you say, I don't praise Obama. Uh, it, it, to anybody say he wasn't uh, inspiring is a lie. He inspired a lot of people. That shows that shows that anybody could make it. But he still left us hanging. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then Earl says, Donovan, be careful with your words. And D2, I went to jail for spelling it. Cocooning. <laughs> yeah, all right. I, you know, I try to be mindful of that kind of stuff because, I mean, I wouldn't care if I went to Facebook jail and I need yeah. the vacation from Facebook. So right, I ain't right. really tripping like that. But it is sad that you can see somebody getting their ass whooped on Facebook or, you know, any old racist thing, but you say the word cooning, mm-hmm. then you, you ask to go on to Facebook. But jail. whatever happens to freedom of speech and, you know, well, they don't want you on here telling but, the truth. But yeah, you could go on Twitter. You can see pornography. You can see, and nobody's going to, you know, you can see fights and all kinds of yeah, stuff. Yeah, well, there's black people bashing their heads, each other's heads, and shit. That, you know. Yeah. And, it, and then another thing, too, we got to realize is because social media has grown so large, I think they keep that stuff on there because we watch the most television. Yes. Let's keep the stuff that they like on mm-hmm. there. And why, as and long keeps as. us distracted. Yeah, as long as we got our face doing this all day, mm-hmm. we're not paying attention to what's around us. Going, like, I'm to the point where I leave my phone in the car, I log off of social media, and, you know, my daughter's driving, which is rare. <laughs> I'm sitting in the car, and I'm just looking around at the sky, the trees. I can actually mm-hmm. have a full conversation. And, you know, I noticed with before me and my daughter are talking, and I'm on the phone, I miss 75% of what she's saying, and then she gets mad, and like, I'm not talking to you anymore. Right. Right. But now I hear the whole conversation and stuff, mm-hmm. so... We got to log off and start paying attention to what's around us. Yes. And then so, um, Al says, Obama did, um, he said he did help older black men 
out by not putting just for men hair dye on his <laughs> yes, yeah, he stopped that. Yeah. And I'm proud. yeah, he stopped. He stopped. Yeah. With that. And it totally says, look at the positive side of stuff and run, bro. Think positive. Well, okay. I, I hear that a lot. And don't get me wrong. If anybody's lived the American dream, I've lived the American dream. My student loans last month. Shut up. They they were uh, taken away of $36,000. I'm, I'm still mad at you. Right? Yeah. All because I served the country. I mean, I, I have no reason to complain because I did what I had to do to do what I had to do. I'm hate. But at the same time, you can't run around and continue to fool ourselves and say, oh, everything is great. Everything is wonderful when it's not. I mean, um, uh, and we did a show on this. A, a Millie happened at a mall. Uh, mothers and daughters were involved in the fight. And somebody jumped on my page and was like, oh, you got to put up the positive. All this other stuff, right? And don't get me wrong. I hear them. But some of the people that were making the comments. Watch uh, out now. Their children weren't doing too great themselves. I mean, you know, and, and if, you know, if you raise your children that way, that's fine. But I think something needs to be done. When you have mothers and daughters fighting in a mall, don't we, you know, we're not animals. Don't you know how to act? I agree. So you, we've got to see the negative, I, I think we need to see the negative more so than the positive, because I know how great we are. What we need to do, right, and we, we need to see the negative and deal with it, deal opposed with it. to just saying, oh, it's negative, yes. we shouldn't talk about it. Yeah. For every negative image, we need to put up two positives. Okay, so then what do you do about the negative image? You just sweep right. it under the rug, right. you put the two positive ones on top, I mean, what happens? Right. In addition to 